Matthew 23, 13 to 22. Jesus said to the crowds, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you lock people out of the kingdom of heaven. For you do not go in yourselves, and when others are going in, you stop them. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cross sea and land to make a single convert, and you make the new convert twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, Whoever swears by the sanctuary is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gold of the sanctuary is bound by the oath. You blind fools! For which is greater, the gold or the sanctuary that has made the gold sacred? And you say, Whoever swears by the altar is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gift that is on the altar is bound by the oath. How blind you are! For which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? So whoever swears by the altar, swears by it and by everything on it. And whoever swears by the sanctuary, swears by it and by the one who dwells in it. And whoever swears by heaven, swears by the throne of God and by the one who is seated upon it. Reflection In these verses, Jesus boldly denounces the religious leaders for blocking the way to the kingdom of heaven, both for themselves and others. They are accused of shutting the door to those who seek God, burdening people with legalistic demands while failing to embody the spirit of the law themselves. Jesus' words here are not merely a critique of the Pharisees' behaviors. They are a call to examine our own lives as disciples of Christ. When we consider the woes, it is essential to reflect on the ways we might inadvertently create barriers to God's grace in our own lives and in the lives of others. Do we, like the Pharisees, focus more on outward religious observances than on cultivating a genuine, humble relationship with God? Do we become so concerned with the letter of the law that we miss the heart of the gospel, which is love, mercy, and justice? Questions for spiritual growth. In what areas of my life might I be more concerned with appearances than with the authenticity of my faith? How can I align my outward actions more closely with my inner spiritual life? Are there ways in which I, consciously or unconsciously, create obstacles for others in their journey to God? How can I become a more effective witness to Christ's love and mercy? How do I balance the observance of religious practices with the call to live out the meaning of those practices? Am I more focused on rules and rituals or on the power of God's love in my life? How can I cultivate a spirit of humility that acknowledges my own shortcomings and opens me to ongoing conversion? What specific steps can I take this week to grow in humility and love? If I hold a position of authority, how am I guiding others in their spiritual lives? Am I leading them closer to Christ, or am I, in any way, a stumbling block to their faith? <laughs>